so in this session we are going to be implementing how we can uh, perform exports using laravel and livewire so suppose uh, i have multiple records here and when i select these records then what i want to do is i want to whenever i select all these records and we check what i want to do is i want to export these records to an excel file or any other file that you want to and in this tutorial i'm going to be exporting the records to an excel file so what i want to implement is whenever i select these records and I click on which check then i want to show a button of export and when i click on the button then i want to show a confirmation dialog that whether the user wants to export these or not and when they clicks uh, when he or she clicks on ok then i want to export these records to an excel file so the first step is we need to install a package that is called laravel excel so you can go to this link so docs.laravel.com and from there you can check out the documentation to so this is the documentation to, in, to install this package just type in the uh, type in composer required mat website excel and this will install the latest version of the package and now let's uh, check how we can implement the export using laravel live wire, laravel and livewire on the data tables that we have implemented here so let's go to our visual studio code and i want to display a export button here so let's start with that okay so what i want to do here is i want to display an export button so i'm just going to copy this a tag here and paste that here so the href it doesn't really matter the input type of button and on click i want to show a confirm message whether he, uh, he or she wants to export these records are not and when the user clicks on cancel nothing's going to happen and when they click on ok then we want to execute the function called export selected and we don't need to pass anything here since we have the wire model property so we have access to all the property in our component itself so we don't need to pass anything from here so let's just save that and let's also change the value to export and so we have the export button we click on ok we get this confirmation dialog and when the clicks, user clicks on ok then i want to export it so how do we do that the first steps let's go to let's go to the documentation and check out the exports and five minute quick start so here we have the documentation to create the export file so I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this command and go and paste that in our terminal so in our case the model that we want to export is student model and i'm going to name our file as students export okay so php artisan make export students export and the model is student hit enter and this is going to create a folder in our app directory and inside we are going to see the file called students export so here we have the general uh, code for export exporting the students model so student all and by default it is using the namespace app slash students so it is giving an error so let's go to the documentation and check out how we can implement the export functionality so what we are going to do is we are going to use the function called from query uh, because what it is going to do is uh, it is going to have it it will help us to build a query so we'll be using query builder to export our records to an excel file so in order to implement the query builder what we need to do is we need to specify these traits in our students export.php file i'll just paste that here and we don't need the from from collection and also let's remove the app slash student we'll be implementing that later and we don't need the form collection here and we need to implement the from query so i'll just copy this and paste that here 
and we also need to use the exportable so this is the trait so we we also need to use this exportable trait and i'll show uh, show you the usage of this in in just a moment of time so we have the collection and we also don't need this collection function here so we are going to use the query function here i'll just copy this and paste that here and instead of student what we want to instead of uh, invoice what we want to do is we want to get the student model here and this is imported as expected so let's just save that and what we want to do here so instead of uh, just returning the invoice query what we want to do is i'll just show you the example of what it is actually doing here so what it is actually doing here is it is uh, receiving the value of a year as a constructor and then assigning it to the local variable here and then it is uh, building the query here so returning invoice query where year is create where year with the value of created at is this year so in our case what we want to do is we want to okay first define a uh, variable here so protect it and let's name it so this is going to be an students array so protected students and here what we want to do is students query where key so the where key is the function that we use in our delete records as well so we are query building the using the query builder and then passing the where key parameter where key builder and also we have passed the array here and then performing the delete operation so this uh, where key builder takes a uh, takes an array of ids so similarly we are going imp to imp implement that here too so where key we need to pass the students array here okay and let's save that so we don't need anything else here and we also need to define the constructor let's just define that public function construct and we'll be receiving the students id and let's assign that to our students variable that we have defined here so this is this students variable is this one so we are assigning the students array to our local students variable that we have defined here so this variable this students uh, variable is going to be set to whatever value that we pass from here okay and then this students uh, array we are passing it in our query builder okay and now one last step that we need to do is we just need to call this function as you can see here now we can download the export in order to download the export what we need to do is we just need to execute we just need to run this code so whenever the user, user clicks on export and then uh, the user clicks on ok then we want to execute a function which we haven't defined yet probably so export selected so we need to execute this function and i'm going to define that here and what we want to do here is we want to return a new students export and we also need to pass the array here so array of students ids so let's pass the this checked array and then download and let's name it students okay and don't worry about this error this is just a intellifence error here nothing else our syntax is perfectly fine and now everything should work fine okay let's check out the workflow of what's actually happening here so whenever the user clicks on ok this ok then we are going to execute this function export selected as you can see here wire click export selected this function is going to be executed we are going to go to we are going to come here to our students.php component export selected is going to be executed 
and it is gonna return a new student export and we are gonna pass this this checked array so we have it wire modeled so this check is gonna hold all the arrays that we are selecting in our data in our data table and so we are gonna pass it pass the array to the students export and then it is gonna perform the download operation with the name of students.xlsx excel file okay so now when we go to the students export then we are we are going to receive that value here so this construct function we are going to receive that value in our students variable and then we are assigning that value to our uh, students array that we have defined here so this is the local variable and this is the value that we are receiving from our parameter okay so this students uh, variable we are assigning it to our local variable students so this is going to be an array now and then when we are running the query then what we are doing is we are running the query builder student query where key is this students array okay so now everything should work fine i'll just go and reload our browser and what if i want to export this value of these four students okay so I haven't defined anything else here, the formatting of the Excel file, defining the heading or all the other things like defining the relations and all, nothing, I haven't defined anything. Uh, we'll only see the raw uh, Excel file here, but our Excel should be exported. So it should work fine. So let's see what's gonna happen. If I click on which checked and click on export, click on okay. Then we should see a file being downloaded here if everything is working fine then let's click, click on ok and now our file gets downloaded and let's open and check whether it's working fine so we have miss mariana simonis and all these we should see generally see the four records so i'll just open it so as you can see our Excel file consists of four records with the value of 19, 20, 21, and 22, and also the class and section IDs, the address, phone number, email address, everything else is working fine. So I hope you understand how we are implementing this feature with the help of Laravel and Livewire. And if you don't understand anything, you can probably make a comment and I'll try to explain it to you. And in the previous video, we'll be implementing how we can check how we can check all these records with the single uh, single input box. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next one.